Hey guys, and welcome back to Deku Tarot and to your weekly tarot and astrology for April 6th through the 12th of 2020. Stick around at the end for some big announcements in terms of price cuts for all my readings, how to get 30% off of astrology, um, natal charts, compatibility charts through this amazing, amazing site called Truly Divine. So stick around at the end for that. And again, all of that, both of that information will always be in my description box below this video. Um, do stick around also for a giveaway information at the end as well as um, some other big announcements. So stick around, guys. We're going to go over the astrology first, and then we're going to get into your specific outlook for your sign for the week ahead, okay? So um, we got some big stuff this week, and if you guys haven't, do make sure to check out your monthlies. I've been finding that the weeklies are really... Um, lending to the monthlies that I did for April 2020. So do check those out. Those are all up. Um, and do be sure to especially to check out your weeklies for your rising sign first, then your sun and your moon. Rising sign does rule your whole chart. And I find that that really slaps for a good outlook, especially energy wise and how things are coming across to you for your week and month ahead. So let's start off with April 6th, Monday here. We have the moon um, void. It's moving from Virgo into Libra. And this week, um, I do want to say just out right it is Aries season in full swing so um here we have the moon kind of bringing in some harmony here um well actually it will be in general in harmony with a lot of planets so there's gonna be a lot of natural expression um with yourself and with others today um there's gonna be a lot of taking account and you know into the opposite side as the moon moves into libra and you're gonna be very focused on resolving issues diplomatically fairly bringing about balance peace and harmony tuesday we have some big stuff going on we have the full moon in libra um and libra is all you know about relationships about balance about harmony Harmony. So it's bringing in a lot of clarity about relationships, a lot of harmony and connections. Um, okay, so any type of connections, again, that have been dancing around each other, you know, weird situations, even from last September, um, or even beyond that, um, especially with all the, you know, um, eclipses, you know, go back to those eclipses. If you've been dancing around a partnership, a person, a love situation since then, you're going to find that that could be coming up for that definitive moment, that big oomph moment here. So um, we might be reaching pinnacles within relationships in terms of seeing where they're headed, where they're going. Big moments could happen. Couples um, that are already together may start more enjoyable projects to work on together. And you need to start looking again at how do you feel when you're together versus apart. You don't want to be using relationships to define yourself or to avoid being alone. Um, you know, so let's see what else is going on here. Also, we have Mars and Aquarius on the same day here squaring Uranus and Taurus. This is big news because this really only happens twice every other year and Uranus and Taurus is big um, and Mars and Aquarius is also big because they're both fixed signs and they're both very stubborn signs people that say that Aquarians aren't stubborn you're wrong Aquarians might be in my opinion more stubborn than Taurus is in my in my um in my personal knowledge and experience with them <laughs> as a Taurus and having other people say that too it's you know it's they're they're kind of secretly um very stubborn so this is a really stubborn and intense very combustible square in here um so it could be very disruptive tempers might even pop off here and it's going to be happening because our ideologies and our egos are going to be clashing again with these two fixed signs so it's going to force you to be like you know what it's time to stand up for what i want it's time for me to stand up for ourselves you know especially if you've been putting off with it okay putting that off so steer clear of any people and situations that will explode keep a cool head okay friday april 10th is another pretty interesting thing and pretty nice thing actually going on especially for all this other really Aries energy um, with the sun in Aries and being in Aries season. We have Mercury also moving into Aries here. So there's a lot of expressive, quick-witted, speedy speech here. Um, you know, we're going to be more drawn to, you know, saying one-liners rather than going into a whole soliloquy of, you know, everything and, you know, maybe even like writing out an essay to explain things. People are going to have short attention spans. Keep it short. Pay attention to what people are saying because if you have, they have to repeat themselves, you might find that suddenly you're in an argument, okay? Because there's a lot of argument energy um within this you know within mercury and aries here so um if you don't want to burn down any major bridges keep your argu argumentative side in check so in terms of astrology that's pretty much what's going on here we might do a separate video for the full moon in libra um in libra not libra <laughs> so check that out as well all right so let's get into the tarot reading for the week all right libra so let's look at your weekly tarot poll 
Let's look at your emotions. Also, we're going to be using the Oosy Pig and Otherworld, which I rarely use for all the signs or any of the signs. It's a very special um, deck to me, but with the full moon being in your sign this week, I thought, let's use the fun moon deck for you. <laughs> so let's check it out here. Let's look at your emotions, your feelings, and where they will be at this week, how that will be going. Do you check out your monthlies, guys, for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus, if you're interested? Let me know in the comments if you want a love reading this month. I'm thinking about it, but I don't know. All right, Libras. Emotions, feelings. It's got career, work, which is almost like a joke this month, <laughs> this week. Uh, let's look at love and relationships for Libras. And let's look anything major, big happening this week that we need to know about. This week seems pretty nice for you guys, especially with the full moon in your sign. I think this is going to be, oh. <sighs> All right, well, we're going to look at that, I guess. Um, let's, let's look a little deeper at that before we get into this read here. In terms of what's happening this week. There's frustration for sure. Let's see. But emotionally, you're moving on to bigger and better things. Anything that you've held on to, this is a great week to release it. Anything that needs to be balanced out, not just I'm talking, I'm not just talking about relationships in terms of romance. This is friendship, this is family. These are people that you know you have relationships with that maybe you wanted to fix or didn't want to fix that you need to decide what you're going to do with right now. You're going to have to either fully let it go or not. But this is leaving something that you once felt comfortable in to move on towards something better, more emotional fulfillment. So relationships and people that don't fit the bill and that emotionally are either manipulative, hurtful, or in some ways that you have not been able to leave behind. This could be a friendship or a lover or somebody that you have had a hard time leaving behind even though they've hurt you, even though they are not good for you because you want to keep the balance, want to keep the peace, want to keep this person happy, want to seem like everything's okay with everybody. But some people, even if it's a person that everybody else that you're friends with is friends with and you just can't make it work, you don't have to. It's time for you to let that go and move on. Let go of something that is not satisfying you emotionally and move forward. So emotionally, this is a week of moving on. It could feel a little bit lonely, a little bit desolate, a little bit weird. Uh, more emotional, especially with the moon in your sign. Career is interesting. We get um, kind of like a straight up split here. What I always forget what this kind of moon is called. I mean, it's not waxing in. It's not waning. It's just half full. Or half empty however you want to look at it and when I get it reversed it kind of feels half empty maybe that's how you guys are seeing this situation in terms of work you're looking at it half empty when you could be looking at it half full you still have money you still have talents and no matter where your situation is going some of you I will say you might end up hearing that you're losing your position this week or that you know this is going on longer than you expected but I do think that you might be getting some compensation coming in to help with this Five of Pentacles. Um, it might be that your boss can't pay you as much as they said they would, or they can't give you these paychecks, they can't do this, they can't do that, because suddenly they don't have the money, and it's like, cool, I thought this was a lot more stable of a business, I guess, than you were telling us it really was, so... Um, there's frustration there for sure, but there's also, if something has totally gone and out, this is giving you the opportunity and the drive to look for something better, to look for something solid, something that isn't going to fluctuate and then suddenly leave you, something that isn't going to continuously hurt you, especially in the bank accounts, and especially if, you know, you've been laid off right now. You could be that, you know, you've grown tired of this situation, and because something has kind of fully petered out, left you in the cold, that you're now looking for your warmth elsewhere. You're looking for your meal ticket elsewhere, and that could be a very good thing for you. So don't be afraid to start looking for more, and also start relying on yourself into knowing that you can make up the money that this has left you without, that this has left you in this position of, you know, being in the lurch, being alone, feeling left out in the cold here. You can find your way, like, immediately right back to that King of Pentacles position because, again, you're Venusian. When, Ven when Venusian, I mean, you and Taurus will always find your way back to the sustenance, back to the money, back to whatever is going to keep you afloat and stable in those ways because Venus rules money, prosperity, and abundance. And how it makes, and again, um, Venusians are ruled by love first, and then all the byproducts of love, 
so we have to love our career we have to love all these other things um we have to love whatever it is that we're doing whether it be relationship love any type of love passion but we have to love it and love has to come first and all the other things are a byproduct so that's what you need to remember is important this week even more so than the check what do you love and how can you love it more and how can you know we switch our lives around so that we're doing something that we truly love more um six of wands is for your relationships this is actually very good a lot of success there um i see things moving ahead really smoothly there's a lot of working through difficult times a lot of pragmatism a lot of you know balancing things out let's talk about these things let's bring harmony into it let's communicate better um again if you're in a relationship you could be starting new projects together that are successful entering a new successful phase communicating better there's just also you know looking at you know your responsibilities you know not everything is 50 50 in balance in that kind of way what are your strengths what are your partner's strengths what is your strengths versus the person that you're trying to be in a partnerships with strengths and how can you know what are your needs versus their needs and how can we really um work this through a little bit better so that we can move forward more successfully more smoothly so overall your week is looking pretty decent pretty smooth and i'm not going to look at it too hard um, some of the other signs i've noticed are having a harder time in this energy but if you're not having a hard time let's not let's not mess it up <laughs> All right, do check out your monthly, though, for a deeper look at April. And, ooh, love is interesting. So you need to release somebody that is wearing the false self mask, and maybe that's what this... Maybe that's really what this whole thing is about this week is that leaving somebody that leaves you with the glass half full, that leaves you feeling alone, desolate, and really just lonely. Like, what do you really offer me? What do you really bring to the table? You're going to notice that this week for... Those of you that are in unsatisfying relationships that you're being deceived, deception, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And by them doing it, they're doing that to you because you're trying to mirror and balance out the relationship by doing what you do best, Libra, mirroring them, doing what's good for them, you know, feeding them and making sure that the relation, you know, this whole thing is balanced, keeping everything a kilter. But it's a past life for some of you it could be that it's a past life relationship and that you have to learn that deception is not love and that this living this way is not love so for the i mean again if that doesn't resonate as love cards for you guys and it doesn't resonate and you're in a fine relationship don't take it but um if you are, do find that you're deceiving somebody that your relationship is deceiving you in some way or that we're not being fully truthful with one another then it's time to start learning how best to do those things how best to communicate without deceiving one another whether you mean it maliciously or not. Sometimes you don't mean it, but you don't want to say how you're really feeling what you really want. Also, guys, do make sure to check out um, trulydivine.com. Um, I am I am working with them, and I have a code DQ30 to get 30% off of their astrology, natal charts, their natal chart and compatibility analysis, their numerology and numerology compatibility analysis. They are incredible. I've gotten my charts done, my numerology done by people in person, online, all sorts of times, many times. And they are by far the best that I've ever had. Like, I was so impressed by their analysis, by their charts. I cannot stress that enough. Like, I do, I get asked by a lot of people to rep their stuff, and I don't rep them, but I rep Truly Divine because I truly believe that they are, like, the best. So please, check them out, guys. Use the code DQ30. You can use it as many times as you want to get the 30% off. You can also give it to a bunch of people, your family, your friends, and they can use it for 30% off something interesting to do amidst all this boring time when you've got nothing else to read nothing else to do so why not get into some astrology or numerology check them out all the info is below in my description box along with um, all my info info and booking a reading which i am taking 20 percent off of right now and if you want to enter this contest that i'm doing guys this giveaway um all you have to do and it's for this cool wire wrap bone um these are little bone beads rings and this is made by a professional wire wrap artist it's really cool and i'm also going to be giving away some crystals of my own as well as a specialized cell um, spell sachet so if you want to enter that share a video take a screenshot of it share it on social media email it to me or book a reading before now and april 13th Without further ado, let's get some cards for you guys. We get two cards. Woo. Ghost, regret, and midnight, the most magical hour of all. So let's see, ghost. It is said that spirits that cannot let go of this world have a reason for this. Sometimes it is to warn the living to guide them, but generally it is because they haven't finished their business here on the plane of the living. They have regrets and they wish to resolve. They wish to resolve. Should the ghost come gliding into your life during divination 
It may indicate, oh my gosh, dropping the box, <laughs> that you have some regrets to let go of. Holding grudges or regrets is burdensome work and it weighs us down eventually. By taking actions to free ourselves of these old burdens, we clear the way for more rightful and wise action for the future. We can begin to live again fully if we let go of what was and step into new possibilities. Oh, what am I doing putting this away? We're not done. Midnight. Let's get midnight here. So, allow yourself to relax into the benevolent darkness of midnight. You may feel this is your darkest hour, but know that the light will return again. Libras, I know you guys think it's your darkest hour. I have talked to enough of you to know that, um, but it's going to be fine. Um, the dawn always follows the darkest night. Know, too, that it is important to recognize that we all have darkness within us, just as we have light, and this isn't something to hide from. So I hope you guys enjoyed your messages. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to check out your monthlies. Make sure to leave me a comment and a like. And um, have a wonderful and blessed week, my lovely Libras. Namaste.